Hey everyone, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Today I want to talk about a nutrition topic. I want to talk about honey, because honey is a, an amazing food, and it, in fact, it can be considered a superfood. But let's talk about the bees first. I mean, this, it's amazing that these little bees, they basically travel the circumference or the equivalent of traveling the globe two times in their lifetime, which is between two weeks and four months, and their contribution to the hive at the end of their life is one-twelfth of a teaspoon. Now, that seems very, very tiny, but when you t uh, think about that every hive has between 20,000 and 60,000 bees, those little twelfth of a teaspoons add up to be something like 60 to 120 pounds a year of honey that they produce. So that's pretty amazing. When the bees go out there and they pollinate and they gather all of the nectar, they go back to the hive, they regurgitate that nectar that they've gathered into another bee's mouth, and then that gets taken and put into each one of the little slots into the hive and by this time it becomes kind of a liquidy substance and so they take their wings and they fan it and they fan it and it kind of it takes all the moisture out of it and eventually they're able to put it into as part of as part of the honeycomb and they create this amazing substance that we know as honey all right honey has a lot of healing qualities depending on where you get your honey I grew up with honey I remember um, it was my very favorite thing to put on toast and uh, our kids grew up with honey. I baked and cooked with honey. Uh, there's a lot of different things that you can do. It doesn't particularly raise blood sugar in your blood, so there's a lot of good things about it. Manuka honey, which usually comes from Australia or New Zealand, that has, is referred to as healing honey because one of the um, things about honey is that it's very, very healing. It, you can take, they used to take in the olden days, they used to take bits of honey and they would put it on wounds and it would heal because it had antibacterial, antiviral, antifungus, anti-everything and they would put it on the wound and in a very short time it would heal. It actually healed the wound and you can still use honey to heal wounds today. Another thing is what's really interesting is that honey actually is good for your teeth. They have found that it can kill different bacteria in your teeth when you eat like a, you know, some honey on a spoon or a honey a peanut butter sandwich or whatever it is, that it actually has healing qualities and can help with your teeth. These studies were done in both New Zealand and um, in um, Australia, and they were using unprocessed honey, so the people were taking, you know, teaspoons of and tablespoons of unprocessed honey each day, and it actually helped. Honey is amazing for coughs, and when your child has a cough, the first thing that we do is grab something from the medicine cabinet, but it's better if you make like a hot tea that has lemon juice in it and one or two tablespoons of honey. Honey will, as I mentioned before, it's antiviral and colds are viruses. So you can actually kill some of the viruses that are related to colds, and, so it can, and it's very soothing also on a sore throat. So that the next time your child has a cold or a sore throat, get out the lemon and the honey and that combination will be perfect for their cold. Another thing about honey which is really important is it builds the immune system. Now we all want to have healthy immune systems and if we take even as much as um, as little as a tablespoon a day and put it on our toast that will up and increase our immune system so it will make us healthier. And again it's because it's antibacterial, it's antifungus, it's antiviral. All of those things go to help build up and strengthen our immune system. It also provides a, probi a probiotic bacteria. Now there's a lot of, uh, pretty much 94% of the people now in the United States have candida. Um, that's an overgrowth of a certain bacteria in the gut. Well, honey will act as a probiotic. Many people take probiotics today. And if you take just a tablespoon of healing honey, it acts as a probiotic and it will help to kill the, um, the candida bacteria in the gut. So um, you can read more about this on my blog at Good Parenting Brighter Children. And I want to leave with you this quote by Ray Bradbury. Bees do have a smell, you know, and if they don't, they should for their feet are dusted with spices from a million flowers. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow.